Why do you suppose a town like this is so spiritually dead? It has a lot of churches, and a large majority of the population goes to church. It's a quaint little town. Everyone cares about the community. Everyone tries to build up this one area. They support their volunteer fire department. Uh, the cops are not abusers of power. They're generally good people. Barely anyone in this town's a criminal. There's really no crime other than sm a small drug problem. There's no gangs whatsoever. Barely any violent crimes ever at any time. And yet this area is spiritually dead and hopeless. More so than anything else I have ever seen in my life. And I am from, you know, the Tampa Bay area. Well, the reason why is because, well, honestly, because they go to church. They have their little denominations with their theology, and they go to church, and they're not discipling any of them. All they care about is filling the seats. They're getting you to go to church and telling you how you're A-OK -okay and hunky-dory. 20-minute sermonettes about moral issues. But they're not really discipling anybody. No, no, no one. And everyone just thinks that they're a Christian because they believe certain things in their mind to be truthful. But nobody cares about God and nobody obeys God. Nobody loves God. So when someone preaches to them the real gospel, they won't listen. There are certain things in Protestant Christianity and Evangelical Christianity that people are not willing to part with. Like the imagery. For example, steeples, halos, various other things that come from paganism, whether in the Protestant or some of them in Orthodox faiths. There's holidays like you know Christmas, Easter, St. Valentine's Day, Halloween, all of these things having to do, or St. Patrick's Day, all of these things having to do originally with paganism, and even now in this modern age, that the paganism has been forgotten. There is the modern paganism of materialism, and Halloween, for example, is the observance and celebration of evil. Everything evil that we can conjure up as a society is celebrated on one day. And of course, churches partake of this as well. Even churches that are really, really good, for example, you know, let's say they're good Christians, you know, they have a baseball game or a football or basketball game, and they'll join hands with other churches and pit their teams against the other churches. But some of these other churches are 100% heretical, like, you know, the, uh, the Latter-day Saint churches and who knows what other church. And it's like people join hands in fellowship with apostates, with heretics, cults, And they wonder why their communities are dying. And they wonder why nobody cares about God. Is because people care more about what makes them feel comfortable. People care more about what they are raised with. They don't care about what God wants. You know, God forbid you have to give up Christmas because, oh, my kids might cry. It's like, listen, what's more important to you, God? Or your children's level of comfort? What's more important to you? having a beautiful church or having a church that honors God. It's just people are not willing to part with the things that they love. And that's the reason why churches are not discipling is because churches care about the very things that their members care about. And they, together along with their members, go straight to hell. And the communities suffer. And you have a community like this, like Cowan, Tennessee, the whole area, all of the cities around this area, like Winchester, Tullahoma, Pelham, the whole area is just dead. Christians everywhere, churches everywhere, and yet there's no spiritual life in most of this whole city.